<laughs> if you see me without that girl, tell me who's your head, that girl. Don't go around her anymore. Why? Give me a good reason. If you want something you need financially, let me know. No. Don't hold it up yourself. Hold it. Years come, months come. It's not good for any relationship. So communication is good. Cause I used to have a girl who actually um, was going through a lot of back in Greenville, you know. She was she didn't have a car. That was like one of the first girls I wanted to get in. Oh, do you know her? She's crazy, but she's <laughs> very, very crazy girl. And you know, you know, I would go to their house and uh, I wouldn't say they are poor, but everybody in her family probably has they don't have a car. So I would go there, the grandmother would be there, the uncle would stay there. They wanted they always walk, you know. They always walk and go to the ballet and buy stuff every time. So I told her, why don't you have a car? You know, like at least you, you can walk a little bit, you know. You can enroll in school, maybe get some financial aid or something. She told me, yeah, but I don't know how to go do that. I said, okay, I'm going to help you out. Every day, 7 o'clock, I'm up. I will drive to her house. I'll pick her up. I love doing that. I did it every single day to the whole semester. I brought some money. I brought $800. I told you that, right? She brought about $1,000. And I went ahead and bought a car for her. And she was happy. And then, as she was driving back, the day I bought that car, the day I bought that car, she was driving home, okay? And I will never forget that day. She was driving home. And she told me, she told me, as she was driving, as we got home to my house, she said, all the places that she's been walking through all her life, she only tracks, she walks the stores, that every place she's been to all her life, she's been trekking, that she felt good today, that she could drive past the places. She drove her past the stores those gas stations she drove past it i said okay well so what is your next you know what's your next move she was like that's not the next move you know like so what are you gonna do next she said nothing just you know i said i gave you this car to do something big <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, said, I gave you this car to do something big you know she she, she ignored it she never appreciated it until i found out she was going to pick her ex-boyfriend oh! with that same car i was born <laughs> Somebody who has no life, you have no life. <laughs> 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 <laughs>